How's it going, you outlaw legends? I'm Red Nitrate, your resident Red Dead addict, and welcome to my Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay walkthrough part 57. Now, before we go anywhere, let's just take a moment and appreciate this amazing view that I've got for our starting location. We've got the, the snow on the mountains in the back there, we've got the, the water, rocks, the beautiful countryside. God, this game is just amazing. But yeah, on the last episode, we procured a stagecoach full of explosives as a part of Dutch's harebrained scheme to mess with the army as a means of a distraction to try and get a safe passage out of the situation that we're in. Pinkerton's chasing us down, hiding out in Beaver Hollow, all of that. Um, and we also brought the smack down to any remaining O'Driscolls with a mission with Sadie. It was epic. But as for today, we're continuing on with this plan for Dutch in the Bridge to Nowhere with old mate John Boy. And uh, so yeah, Dutch has asked you and John to blow up the bridge using the explosives you stole with Bill. So, yeah. Only imagine how this is going to go. Terribly. I'm guessing. But <laughs> might as well check it out. Arthur, how you doing? Nervous? John Boy? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Maybe you don't do that there. <laughs> yeah. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies. More chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. <laughs> He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... You could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. But what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. Definitely feels that way. Now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> Maybe you should just bail now before all yeah. this Come on. blows up in your face. Help me with the rest of this. You're messing with the army? <laughs> Next level stupid. Dutch is a complete bloody lunatic at this point. So I don't really feel like we should follow well, it his looks orders. Like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure. Let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch? This is awesome. I love this yeah. thing. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. All right, stop. Here's good. I can go on that thing for days. It's so much fun. <laughs> you sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there. You lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Got it. Ready when you are. This is, uh, seems just a little bit precarious. Just like, look at the drop. Lowering crates of dynamite. <laughs> what little slip up. We're all getting blown to kingdom come. Let's get moving here, Arthur. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. No, no. Nearly there. Okay, good. You're picking bits of John up all Ready over go. the mountainside here for years to come. What the... What, we went inside Arthur Morgan there for a moment, ladies and gentlemen. 
Should we feel special or violated? <laughs> I don't know. You let me decide and you let me know down in the comments which way we should lean on that. Roger Dodger. Okay. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Seems simple enough. Just want to get the hell out of here before this stuff goes up. It's going to make short work of the bridge here, I feel. Big bundles of dynamite. Big old boom potatoes. Oh, and these views while we're doing it. Stunning. I'm still going on about it now, but it really does blow me away. Get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on, I can handle the rest. Oh. Up there. This work. <laughs> Everyone keeps glitching around a bit in this. First we went inside Arthur, and now John's teleporting around like a he's a tomorrow tomorrow person. mean a train, John? Because that's not good. Train! Oh, oh hell. <laughs> oh, they're giving everything you've got, man. Faster. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? Move. Move. A train. Come on, quick. Let's go. Hard as you, can. you got it. Oh god, no! Oh god! <laughs> Did you see it closing in on me? My whole laugh flashed before my eyes. Thank you. No problem. That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. <laughs> I hear that. Nearly got our got ourselves killed for it, so at least we can do is see a few fireworks. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Oh yes, please. Cool. All right, you're ready for this. I am the god of hellfire, and I bring you fire. Do 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 take you to burn. <laughs> that's so well, sweet. Got all the smoke he wants. Yeah, so. that's one hell of a distraction. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? Mm, yes, we'll as long see. as we run in the opposite direction, no maybe. I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all Yeah, this. Dutch has lost like it. Said, His plans don't make any sense. When the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to to everything you've been loyal i've been loyal look what that cost you know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty it's all i knew it's all i ever believed in well not anymore john soon you gotta go go don't look back i'll think about it I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For, for an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. 
Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. Dutch needs to take a long walk Safety. off a short pier, I feel. That's what that's what he needs to do. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Damn right. That's just the one that's disloyal. Not us. Choosing that rat bastard Micah over Arthur and John. You know, he hasn't even been with us a year. Arthur and John been with him for like forever. Always had his back. Oh god. Arthur. Not looking well at all. He's definitely getting sicker, folks. Oh, it's tragic. I hate seeing him this way. Oh, Arthur. Mate. You should be in a warm bed. You shouldn't be out blowing up bridges and gallivanting around with madmen like Dutch. Damn, man. Literally can't get up. Oh, God. Jeez. That's just... Oh, that's just awful. Yeah, f unfortunately, despite my hopes that he might get better, I feel like poor old Arthur's at death's door right now. I don't think he's got too many fights left in him, if I'm honest. But at least he's out here trying to do the right thing by his friends and loved ones, even if it is maybe a little bit misguided sometimes. Howdy, partner. Yeah, it was a, was a heart-wrenching little scene at the end there. Well, that was a, that was an interesting little mission. Almost got blown into little bits. Um, what what else we got? I think it's the main mission we've got left, eh? mission over here with eagle flies which is pretty close so I will head in that direction and um yeah be yep. with you shortly almost at the eagle flies mission now I don't know exactly what this is going to entail um up until now eagle flies has definitely been the more hot headed of him and rain's fall uh, so I tend to think this is probably going to be a bit more of a violent mission than we've been doing recently for the Native Americans. But I guess time will tell. What do you say, lads? What do you do? So good are you what do you do? Us? What do you say? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are you all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. <laughs> they want you to fight. Quite Nobody sure of that. Killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them. Just a few of the army, the you know, it's no big alone. deal. You Can't get us in any trouble at all. Frank? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Hmm. I guess, well, why not? We're already... Whole life's already in the crapper, Besides, so... What's well, one more crappy People plan? <laughs> these boys, they won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. 
No. Clearly no. you are. But it is mutually <laughs> beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure no. we are. Come Not on. by starting Let's a bunch of uh done. Starting a bunch of violence, um, sort of a violent chain reaction with the army. I don't think it's going to help them one little bit. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Yeah, okay. Well, Hurry, I'll plant the dynamite I can only on spool water. so quickly, Dutch. Yeah. Hold your horses. You'll just relax. Sent for some of that dynamite, you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. <laughs> Perfect man for the job. Yeah, I don't think he was playing. He was just naturally drunk. Just at at most, he exaggerated a little bit. <laughs> God damn, Williamson. Damn, how much dynamite we setting up, Dutch? So. You finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Didn't do much to calm his crazy, though, did it? The see? We're tying up the loose ends, horses. One by one. Um, I think attacking the army is just creating a massive loose end, though, Dutch. It's not really tying up anything, bro. Same with shooting Leviticus Cornwall in the middle of a crowded street, in the middle of the day. These, these aren't good distractions. That's all I'm saying. I think that should do it. Come on now, quick. Get back up here. Okay, let's go, Arthur. Yeah. This is going to be an absolute bloodbath. I feel like the world supply of dynamite attached to those trees. What the hell are you thinking, Dutch? Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. We've bitten off some bitten off more than we could chew in the past. Gone up against some pretty big enemies, but the army? I think we gotta stop messing with the army, Dutch. Goddamn space cadet. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. At least I get to use <laughs> the plunger. Worry. That's a good thing. It's been a good day for okay, plunger action. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. Got to do it with the tra sure bridge earlier. Plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Get oh, to remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Get to do some like old said, west style forestry. A bit of a now. <laughs> there they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old fashioned humiliation. You're owed that son at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Yeah, of course, we're leading him into a trap of dynamite. That kind of goes okay. without saying. They've passed the first All right, tree surgeon Arthur, oh, let's do man, this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that Put sort of trees out good and proper. Should start up my own it. landscaping your company. Oh wait. Has gone on quite enough. <laughs> this ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. Yeah, I'd agree with that. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? Oh, Should God. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Oh, God. Your it's all going down now. Worse, soldier! <laughs> Hell. My father won't be happy about this. So 
Take him out, baby. Damn, there's gonna be a lot of them, huh? Oh god. That's what happens when we mess with the army, man. They are not flying around. Oh, hello, lads. Oh, you're getting a bit close there, son. Take a bullet to the eye. On your way. Regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly. Then we move. Wait, the soldiers. All right. I'm always down for some sweet loots. What am I doing? Oh my God! Are you climbing a tree, Arthur? I don't think I've ever seen you do that. Is that actually a thing? She's gonna strengthen your case after this. Arthur's a parkour master, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't even know. I have a bad feeling about this. I said nobody would be killed. It's done now. If Colonel Favors finds out it was us, it's so be it. You try talking. We should get out of here soon, though. What the? I when did you just hear? Why didn't you loot the bodger? Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Oh, God. Was that a stray... Nah, that wasn't a stray dynamite charge. Oh, God. What the hell? They're all coming in. Oh, what the? Where the hell did you come from? I'll make short work of you. What do we do here, Dutch? This is a lot of men. Can I? That's uh, what we're doing, apparently. You got it. Get wrecked, Sonny Jim. Get out of here with your cannon. Damn. They're sending riders from the fort. We need to leave. It's like the cannon Peter? operator became the cannon fodder. Ha <laughs> ha. That went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me. I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I oh, what now? Oh, God damn it. Where's Eagle Flash? <laughs> Run, son! Get the hell out of there, bro. Yeah, great for some situation you got him into there, Dutch. Are you serious, man? Yeah, just stir up a massive shitstorm and then bail, man. Yeah, that's real good. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, you're really trying to help out eagle flies, aren't you? Get everybody killed and then just bail. Yeah, we can only imagine, but it didn't look good. Or, like, launching a full-scale attack. Okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right. Let's carry on by foot, try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Gah! Let's see if we can lose them down here. You really spanked that horse's booty, huh? Oh. Guess not. Get behind something, Arthur. Alright. You plan on telling me that right away, or you just know? 
like halfway across the... He'd run like a full football field before he decided to tell me that there was a... There was a back exit. Oops, sorry, horse. Damn, these guns don't work, huh? Oh, what? Hello. Let's keep going. Follow the path. It's got to spin us out somewhere. Yeah, just straight up bails, gets like 500 meters away. He's like, oh, yeah, Arthur, we, we should really move. But yeah, thanks, Dutch. <laughs> See ya. Damn, I'm running low on ammo too. Damn, I do not have much. Alright, uh, bolt action it is, I guess. Oh, for God's sake. I don't know what was up there. The ghetto's been really glitchy late, lately, not marking properly. have to pull the Butch Cassidy. Well, Arthur. Put your hands up. I said put your damn hands up. Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello, officer. <laughs> you keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Uh, guess that's Keep what we do. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, uh, We're just gonna we slowly back up. Your man. Just everybody, man just chill. You've got us outnumbered, all right? I feel this is very unfair. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. <laughs> Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. All right, we're doing this. Three, two. One Telio! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we survived! Are you serious? Oh god. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. Heard of whitewater rafting, but this is ridiculous. Ugh. Yeah, maybe you are, man. I'm actually like got tuberculosis. I don't need to half drown, thank you very much. Got enough liquid in my lungs. Stop saying that. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken. That was not something that we needed. Well. We can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send him. Where is he? He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Then go meet him up at the reservation. We are going to make it, brother. Yeah. I can feel it. That remains to be seen, Dutch. Faith, Arthur. <laughs> Have faith. Have faith, he reckons. After that complete lunacy just gotten got us involved in. Amazing shot. Well, wow. 
That was um quite the action-packed mission, to say the least. Been quite an action-packed episode, really. I mean, first we blew up that bridge with John Boy, and then we took on an entire army, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, I, I, I'm blown away by that, but I'm very worried for our heroes, John Marston and, and Arthur, and of course Abigail and Jack. Dutch has completely and utterly lost his marbles at this point, and he's, just, he's using all of us as his ammunition and his shields and everything else, you know? Like, here we are just doing Dutch's bidding, even though he's just totally spun off the planet, getting everyone killed. Didn't even seem to give a crap about eagle flies. But yeah, if you did enjoy this Red Dead 2 goodness, please slap a like down below. And if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing as well. We do guides, let's plays, and live streams, all Red Dead 2 story mode related. So if that sounds like you're back, come join the community. But um, yeah, I will catch you all on the next video. I'm Red Nitrate. Stay legendary, everyone. Bye now.